So then we'll just pull that apart and that's our lamina given up. It's a bit more like a, a phone book on top of each other. Velcro is going to be more like your soul. Yeah, if you took two phone books and stacked one page at a time. I got my face. That got in your face. <laughs> yeah, look at the shape of the, the frog though, right? Mm -hmm. This is a bit of an atrophied frog. But when you guys hear me say, when I trim the frog, I want to take everything I have to and leave everything I can. So coming straight up from the bottom of my commissure, straight up, as long as I don't come into the side of the frog, I can't stick them. Because our frog doesn't have a T-shape to the top of it, does it? It has, this, it has this taper shape to it. So as long as I stay straight and I don't cut in, that's how I trim my frog. Now when we look, there's the wing of coffin bone, there's the wing of our coffin bone. If we put Fluffy back together again, and we pretend we're all the king's men and all the king's horses, guess where the seed of corn is? Right there. Before, I, before my first nip. We pull that back, where's the wing of our coffin bone? And what's causing a corn? It's not necessarily what's pressing up, but think about when that P2 descends, it's gonna pull on the caudal aspect, pushing against this digital cushion. That's gonna push against your seat of corn.